Today's topic is numerical differentiation. It is the process of computing the values of dy by dx, d square y by dx square, d cube y by dx cube, etc. at a given point. If xi comma yi are the given set of values in a table form. If the values of the derivatives are required at a point near the beginning of the table, we use Newton Gregory forward formula. At the end of the table means we use Newton Gregory backward formula. If the values are not equally spaced, then we can find the polynomial by using Lagrange formula and find the derivatives at a particular point. Now we can derive the formula for Newton's forward difference formula to compute the derivative. Already we know that Newton's forward interpolation formula is f of x0 plus nh is equal to y0 plus n into del y0 plus n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial into del square y0 plus n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 by 3 factorial into del cube y0 plus n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 by 4 factorial into del power 4 y0. When you expand this equation, the right hand side is y0 plus n into del y0 plus n into n minus 1. When you expand it becomes n square minus n divided by 2 factorial is nothing but 2 into 1 into del square y0 plus the expansion of n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 is n cube minus 3 n square plus 2 n. Divided by 3 factorial is nothing but 3 into 2 into 1. Then similarly n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3. When you expand this you will get n power 4 minus 6 n cube plus 11 n square minus 6 n. And 4 factorial can be written as 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. This we can see in the next second equation. See? f of x0 plus nh is equal to y0 plus n into del y0 plus n square minus n by 2 into del square y0 plus n cube minus 3n square plus 2n divided by 3 into 2 into del cube y0 plus n power 4 minus 6n cube plus 11n square minus 6n divided by 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 into del power 4 y0. Now to find the first derivative you differentiate this equation with respect to n f of x0 plus nh differentiation is f dash f dash of x0 plus nh and for the term inside the bracket is 0 plus 1 into h so that means we will get f dash of x0 plus nh into h and in the right hand side y0 differentiation is y0 differentiation with respect to n is 0. Plus next term when you differentiate with respect to n. n differentiation with respect to n is 1 into the constant term del y0. Plus next term differentiation with respect to n is n square differentiation is 2n. And n differentiation is 1. And the denominator term you have to write as it is. That is 2n minus 1 by 2 into del square y0. Plus next term differentiation. n cube differentiation is 3n square minus 3 is a constant term. 
n square differentiation is 2n. That means 3 into 2n is 6n plus 2 into n differentiation is 1. The whole divided by 3 into 2 into 1. That we can write it as 3n square minus 6n plus 2 divided by 6 into del q by naught. Similarly, the next term differentiation is n power 4 differentiation is 4n cube. Then minus 6 into n cube differentiation is 3n square. 6 into 3n square means 18n square plus 11 is a constant term into n square. n square differentiation is 2n. That means 11 into 2n means 22n minus 6 into n. n differentiation is 1. So minus 6 divided by 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that is 24 into del power 4 why not plus etc. Now we can simplify this equation that is h into f dash of x naught plus n h is equal to del y naught plus 2n minus 1 by 2 into del square y naught plus 3n square minus 6n plus 2 by 6 into del cube y naught plus you can take 2 in the numerator as well as in the denominator that means the equation become 2n cube minus 9n square plus 11n minus 3 divided by 12 into del power 4 why not. Now we can mark this equation as equation number 3. Again to find the value of f double dash of x naught plus nh you have to differentiate equation number 3 with respect to n. H is a constant term. You can write as it is F dash of X naught plus NH. F dash differentiation is F double dash. And the term inside the bracket X naught plus NH differentiation is X naught is 0 plus N is 1 into H. That means you will get one more H. Therefore, this can be written as what? H square into F double dash of x naught plus n h h square into f double dash of x naught plus n h similarly the right side you have to differentiate after differentiation you will get the equation as del square y naught plus n minus 1 into del cube y naught plus 6 n square minus 18 n plus 11 by 12 into del power 4 y naught we can mark this as equation number 4 Again to find the value of f triple dash of x naught plus nh, you differentiate this equation number 4 with respect to n. When you differentiate equation number 4 with respect to n and simplify, we will get the value as h cube into f triple dash of x naught plus nh is equal to del cube y naught plus 2n minus 3 by 2 into del power 4 y naught. Similarly, we can find the remaining derivatives such as f power 4 of x naught plus nh, f power 5 of x naught plus nh, etc. Now, our aim is to find the derivative at a point x is equal to x naught. For that, we know that x is equal to x naught plus nh. Now, you substitute x is equal to x naught. Then, n becomes 0. Substitute this n is equal to 0 in the third equation that is f dash of x naught plus n h equation you have to substitute. When you substitute n equal to 0 and simplify that equation we will get the answer as f dash of x naught equal to 1 by h into del y naught minus 1 by 2 del square y naught plus 1 by 3 del q by naught minus 1 by 4 del power 4 y naught plus next term will be 1 by 5 del power 5 y naught etc. Similarly, f double dash of x naught we can find f triple dash of x naught f power 4 x naught etc.